before being recognized as having the best catwalk in the model industry, before being signed to DNA model management in New York, before having the opportunity to open JaVinci as an exclusive, who is Iman Hamam? Destined to be a supermodel, Iman is 1.79 meters, has captivating brown eyes and a luxurious afro. Born October the 5th in 1996 in Amsterdam to immigrant parents, the father being Egyptian from Cairo and the mother Moroccan from Zygora, she's half Moroccan and half Egyptian. She is Muslim and she's proud of her heritage. Iman aspires to be a role model to go young girls that are struggling with racism and of course their looks. She has once said, I want to be a role model for young girls who are struggling with racism and struggling with their looks or with their skin color. I had Naomi Campbell who I looked up to as a black powerful woman but there aren't many Arabic models. I trying to open doors for more Arabic girls. Iman has also got a sister who happens to be a model. She's under Skins Model Management. She's also been on Vogue Arabia several times, featuring her sister Iman in some of the covers. Her father's got background in music. Her mother used to be a seamstress and taught Dutch at some stage in her life. It was written in the stars that she could be anything, especially a supermodel. When she was 13, the stars aligned for her. In 2010, she signed her first modeling contract ever. At 16, she did her first debut walking for Jean-Paul Gavetier Couverture in the year 2013. <laughs> When she was around 16 or 17, she had the opportunity to open for Ricardo Ticci. Opening the Givenchy fashion show changed her life in so many ways because first of all, she managed to get so much attention and for the first time, people noticed that she had a unique walk as compared to the models that we now have. After Givenchy, she had the opportunity to be the cover of Vogue. In 2015, she was the cover of Teen Vogue and Vogue in Netherlands. In 2016, Iman received a public vote, even outshone prominent models such as Bella Hadid by winning Kotoku magazine Model of the Year competition. In 2017, Iman was blessed with even more Vogue covers. Anna Winter even mentioned her in the editor's letter. She was the cover of Vogue Netherlands, Vogue Arabia, Vogue Espana, Vogue China, Vogue Japan, Vogue US. In 2018, she covered Vogue once again. She covered Vogue Arabia, Vogue Italy, Vogue Japan, Vogue Paris, and Vogue Netherlands. She has been on 22 Vogue covers. She has worked with modules such as Liv Wynn, Gigi Hadid, Victoria Ceretti, and of course, Veral Williams, and this was in uh, December 2017. By being on 22 Vogue mag covers, this also tells girls that come from different countries in the world, especially girls that are battling with their complexions and race. It gets They get to understand that they can be anything they want to be and that they can make it out of the countries that they come from because she is half African and half Moroccan and those are not really the richest countries but she still made it out and so it is possible for those girls to also make it out and she gets to also be the role model that she wanted to that she wanted to be like Naomi Campbell because that's who she looked up to so they get to understand that they can make it anywhere they want to be, anywhere in the world, and that their complexions are not their limits. And that's the beauty of her bracing all these covers because it was in Japan, it was in Paris, it was in Arabia, it was just different parts of the world. So they get to know that they can be accepted in every place in the world if they put their work in it and believe in themselves. 2018 was also such a great year for 
Iman, and it changed so much for her because she also got to work for Versace, and that just took her to another level. In 2019, she covered Vogue Italia, Vogue Russia, and Vogue Japan once again. In 2020, Iman had a partnership with the brand frame releasing a limited edition ready-to-wear collection and she was also rumored to be dating Drake. In 2021, she appeared on the cover of Forbes 30 Under 30's Europe Art and Culture. In 2022, she made an appearance on the campaign for JPG Scandal Perfume. Iman has walked runways that other models can only dream about such as Burberry, Alexander McQueen, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, Prada, Michael Corbs, Chanel, DKNY, Hugo Boss, Valentino, and the list goes on. In her modeling career, she has managed to appear on covers and editorials, even international editions such as Elle, Harper's, Bazaar, Allure, Glamour, Pop, Love, etc, etc, etc. In 2023, Iman became Estee Lauder's ambassador. In 2024, she's still daring herself to win. She's still on almost every runway that you could ever imagine. In 2019, she announced that she would be in a non-profit organization. She was the first to be a global ambassador. In 2021, Iman was presented by Anna Winter, a powerhouse of the year award. She said, I'm so honored to be receiving the first ever powerhouse award. Standing alongside girls who have been breaking barriers and advancing public health initiatives in the communities as we show the world what true power looks like. In 2020 June, she was helpful by sharing a series of infographics on behalf of Students for Justice in Palestine at Georgetown University. She shared the info to bring attention to Israeli-Palestine conflict in the West Asia. In 2021, she was a volunteer for Food Kitchen based in New York City. With all the hard work Iman did in her career, she always made sure that she, well, she always makes sure that she gives back to communities, to people that are less privileged. And it's not only about just giving, but also making sure that she makes another person feel better about themselves. Although Iman comes across as being mixed, she's still proud of being black. She could have easily used her skin to benefit from light skin privileges, well, to be specific, colorism. But instead, she fought for her spot by being herself, by also fighting for other people that are also struggling when it comes to racism and their complexions. She's fought for black women, she's fought for Arabic women, she's fought for mixed women because she comes across as being mixed. So she's always made sure to not always look out for herself but also for the people that are coming after her. She has once said, sometimes people call me Middle Eastern and I'm like, no, I'm black, I'm proud of my culture, proud of who made me, proud to be here. Iman has worked hard in her career to make sure that her legacy lives on and that the people that are coming after her, specifically models, can benefit from it. She has described her walk as being strong. In her interview, she said, I walk strong and I think it's so clear to see because you can see every time she does her walk, her shoulders are way back. She walks strong and she's very confident and she really literally stands out out of most of the models. She's very particular when it comes to her afro. She even posted a picture to show how miserable and down she can be sometimes when her hair has been straightened. 
She has also said that when it comes to her afro, what she loves about it, she doesn't need to get it fixed during a fashion show. She just rocks up and the only thing that needs to be done is usually her face. One of the best events that she has enjoyed was the Met Gala. She described it as a day that she felt beautiful. Iman said in an interview with ID, something I always live by is just be kind and do good and help people always.